Hey, phone sites users. So let's talk about backgrounds. So I think most of you probably by now know that you can make a background that is not as basic as what I've got going on here in this fake funnel, where I've just got a white background and uh, black text. And then of course I got the rest of my funnel in here too, right? But most of you know that you can go in under the settings tab, under background. Let's just blow this up a little bit. You can go under the, the background section at the very top under settings and you can either add in an image. So let's just do that real quick. I'll just add in this baseball field. And um, if you wanted to, you could go in and adjust uh, a couple other settings. Like if I wanted to give this like a uh, an orange filter over the background, you can see that if I adjust this slider here, it allows um, less and less of my picture to show and more of this orange filter to appear, right? And I could change that to whatever color made the most sense. And then of course, by letting less of the picture show up, it's gonna be a little bit easier for the text to show up and be readable, right? And then I, I definitely suggest you'll wanna check on your mobile device to how this is gonna show up, which as we see here on desktop, it's readable. You can still make out that there's a baseball field in the background and you can read the text here. Um, I can't exactly show you though how it will look on your phone, but here in this video, I can quickly show you what it might look like just by using the developer console. So you can do the same thing. All that I did was uh, I had right clicked and I went to inspect and then I went <clears throat> and I already had this turned on up here, but you can toggle the device toolbar, right? And then once you turn this on, then over here, you can adjust which device that you want this to look uh, through. So anyways, that's kind of a, a decent way of approximate of what it'll look like for mobile, but you definitely need to, to check it from your actual mobile device. I can't show you that here on this video, but anyways, so I wanted to show you that really quickly. Most of you probably already know that you can do that. You probably already know too that you can use a, a GIF as your background. So let's see if I have one still down in here in this gallery here. Uh, yeah, there's one. So if we just select this tattoo GIF. And so we save that real quick and we see how this looks. All right, so you, you can add in GIFs, you can add in background images, but what I also wanted to show you too is, and I've seen some of you do this, I really like this, but you can put in um, a white filter over the image because that really enhances the contrast between your background and let's say black text. Um, that's pretty easily readable. Now, what I really wanted to show you though, for this video is I wanted to show you a tool called cssgradient.io. And here under cssgradient.io, uh, you could go in here and you can adjust different colors that you want to use. So let's see here. I'm going to click into this black swatch up here and then I can pick out any one of these colors uh, along the um, spectrum of rainbow colors here. Uh, I'm sure there's a, an actual term for this, but let's just pick yellow there. And then you can adjust and you can of course click anywhere in this swatch here to adjust how much white or black uh, should be added in into yellow, or you can change the opacity slider down here. Let's just, let's see here. I'm going to drag this up, let's say like right there. And then, um, then you can click into this blue swatch here and you, you have, uh, well, let's see, maybe you have more than three options or is it just three? Um, anyways, you could click, you can get rid of one of these if you want to and just leave it as two options. So I'm going to go ahead and change this blue here. Um, let's see, what color do I want? Let's go with green. Um, eh, let's go with red, reddish orange. There we go. 
Okay. And then I don't want that red to be so dark. I'm going to pull this up. There we go. And so now I can change. Um, so I've got right now, you, you can see up here, this is what it's going to look like in terms of the background, but I've got where it's uh, a vertical linear gradient. I'm going to change this to, let's say horizontal. And then of course I would need to change the colors too, if I want it, but then you can also pick a radial gradient here. And then also note over here, you can change between linear and radial. And then we've got this option over here. Again, it's radial, but now we've got three different colors. And we've got kind of like a Instagram look going on there. And then we've also got this option here for radial. Anyways, you can have fun with this. And once you pick whatever it is that you like, uh, let's see here. I'll just pick that. Um, and then you can also adjust like how much, so you can see how much pink is going to show up there in the middle versus how much blue is going to show up. Let's just drag this back over here. But it, anyways, once you get exactly what you want, and I actually played around with this yet in terms of upload image, but that'd be kind of cool to test out. But once you get whatever you want, you scroll down the page, you, you scroll to where the CSS section is here and then copy to clipboard. And then we're going to dump this back into phone sites. And uh, I'm going to put this under, let's see here. I think it was this page where I already have some code in here. There we go. So what you're going to need to put in your uh, custom code section under settings for whatever page you want to, to set this up with. And let me just blow this up a little bit more for you to be able to read that code. That's huge. Um, anyways, uh, what you're going to need to put in to, under custom code is you're going to need to put in this opening style tag and then body and then the, uh, the curly bracket symbol. And then this is what I had copied over from CSS gradient, right? And then you're going to have a closing curly bracket and then a closing style tag. And that's it. That's all you have to add in. And then you can save this. And I'll give you the code for that. Let me I just want to zoom back out so it's not so huge. Um, okay, so now that I've um, saved that, I'm going to open up view. And why did that not take? There we go. So there's our page. Um, so you can see you've got this radial background with the pinkish bluish look. Let's go ahead and change this real quick. I'm going to go ahead and test out this option. So I'm kind of curious to see what we've got here. So let's see, we've got. We pick, um, just pick an Apex logo here, select open. And I have no idea what this is going to do for upload image. I guess it's just pulling in the predominant colors from that logo. Yeah, that's gotta be what it is. So if you wanted, like if you had your own logo, you could upload that in and it's gonna pick out those colors and um, does that do anything there in terms of, no, I, I guess I can't add in. The only way for me to add in additional images is, uh, I mean, not images, but additional colors is if I upload an image because it went from like two options to now four. And if I adjust this, this black here, or actually it's white, let's adjust that to like red. And let's see here. Let's drag the black over here. Let's drag the white over here. All right, so that's looking good. And then you can also adjust the um, the, the angle as well. Um, let's let's just set this to like one hundred. Okay. And then if I copy my swatch there, and I can just select copy to clipboard. I don't actually have to like highlight this and copy it, but. Well, I select copy the clipboard and go over here to phone sites and then just drop this into our code and select save. And then let's refresh our page. And so there you go. So now you've got this uh, cool black, white and red um, linear gradient going on here. So anyways, guys, uh, hopefully um, you found this to be kind of interesting. Um, you might want to check out what else they've got listed out here as well under cssgradient.io. But this is another way to enhance the background of your phone sites funnels.